Hey Mercer fans, welcome to the first episode of Coffee and Conversation with Tony. I'm Brian Magnus here with the man himself, Tony Economopoulos. Um, Tony, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. Thank you. Thank you, Brian. How are you doing? I'm great. Thanks. Um, so Tony, let's start with last week. You guys played your first exhibition match at Auburn. Um, you guys had a little bit of a, about a two and a half hour lightning delay, but you got 70 minutes of soccer in um, first exhibition match of the season. Can you just talk about what you took away from that game? Yeah, so we had a, a inner squad scrimmage this Saturday prior. Uh, we got about 45 minutes, and this next game we were trying to get to 90. Uh, we got the first 30 in, and then we had a two hours and 40 minute lining delay, uh, which kind of stunted how we were playing. We came out a little slow, a bit anxious and nervous playing an SEC team. Uh, once the break happened, uh, we regrouped, uh, we showed some video clips, and we talked about some tactical changes we were going to do. And we came out the next 40, 40 minutes and did really well. Um, we felt we had Auburn in a good position for us to create and score some goals at the start of the second period. We felt confident with the defending shape. So as the game went on, we felt we grew in confidence and grew with more um, momentum and created more opportunities for ourselves. New year, new team. Uh, you guys got six freshmen to this team uh, this season. Can you just talk about talk a little bit about how they've been adjusting from coming from high school to Division One soccer and kind of what what have you taken away so far through preseason from these freshmen? Yeah, that's always a, the biggest what if is the freshman. Uh, every recruit we have on campus could talk about the biggest adjustments, the speed of play, the physicality of the college game. Um, it takes them a few weeks. Some kids adjust a little bit quicker than others. Uh, some kids might take one or two sessions and they know, okay, I got to hit back a little bit quicker and, and play a little faster. So this group of six has done a good job. We have two goalkeepers in there. Uh, it's a tight knit group, which we really like. The chemistry of the group is really good amongst themselves and with the team. Um, and there's a handful of kids that are going to contribute for us this fall and play some significant minutes um, as it keep evolving, as they keep learning the speed of plays quicker, the physicality is there. Uh, but we're really excited what this group can do to supplement the girls we lost from last year's team and to progress us forward and be more successful. What can fans expect from this year's team? Um, fans that come to the best stadium, they come to watch you guys. What, is, what are some things that you you think fans will notice right away from the team, whether it's technically, tactically? What's what's something that you would say is the identity of this year's team going to be? We're going to be organized. We're going to be extremely organized. We're going to be a disciplined team. Um, we're not going to be an easy, te- be an easy team to break down. So we're going to do our best to always stay matches with our defensive shape, our defensive tendencies, our defensive principles. Um, that keeps you in matches. We're going to be a very gritty team, blue collar team. Uh, that's been the DNA of ours since I've been here for 12 years now. We're always one of the hardest working physical teams. We want to maintain that presence. Um, it's makes opponents uncomfortable at times when you're more physical than they are on the attacking side. We're going to have a little bit of flair to us. We, we return a lot of pieces. Uh, so we're excited how the last few sessions after Auburn had really transformed we worked on more on attacking stuff and it's really excited the goals we're scoring again scoring goals is the hardest part of the game uh so we're hoping to create a lot and put some of those chances away but you're going to see a very disciplined organized hard-working blue-collar team that's not going to give up a lot of chances or goals and on the flip side be very creative and fun and once we score celebrate you know and enjoy the moment because it's hard to score yeah definitely um season opener thursday against evansville at Bet stadium um, what's your thoughts on that match? What are you looking forward to? And, and kind of what are some challenges that you're seeing from Evansville that they're going to present to you guys on Thursday? You know, Evansville's a very good team, both coached by Chris. Um, we were up there back in 2019, pre-COVID. Seems like forever ago. Uh, a tough game. We won 1-0 the last 30, 40 seconds of the match. Uh, for them, it's payback. It's a long road show for them to come this way uh, to return a game. It's the only game they have all weekend. So for us, and it's a home opener. We want to establish the tempo, um, the physicality of the match early on. The heat should play to our favor. We've been trading in this, in this extreme heat the last two weeks. They're coming for the Midwest. Hopefully that all's in our favor. Um, the, the, they're going to present some problems. they got a few athletic pieces up top who can pose some danger uh, if we're not organized and disciplined. With that being said, I feel our conferences are similar. It's just a matter of what team shows up that night. And for, for our game, we're ready to play. I think we could come up with a good result. Tony, thanks for your time and best of luck on Thursday. Thank you very much and go Bears.